What's good, what's good, what's good, y'all, you know. I want to talk about how, whose job is it to approach the female, you know. And when I say that, I mean, like, is it necessarily the studs job to approach the film? And, you know, and is it okay if a film wants to just step in and approach the stud, you know. Because I know a lot of people... On my case, you know, I can kind of tell if a girl is gay from the looks, you know. She'll give me a look or, you know, of course, from where she's wearing a lot of a lot of colors. She's a very colorful person. But, I mean, besides just the rainbow, you know, what if she's a DL type? You know, what if she, her parents don't know, so she can't get a lot of rainbow things, you know. And I can tell from, like, maybe the way she looks at you or the way she acts around you. And my thing is, maybe it's not always the stud's job to come at the girl. And to automatically know that the girl is gay. You know? I'm saying, you know, maybe the girl, it's okay for the girl to come up to the stud. Because, I mean, if a stud likes you, you're going to be able to tell, you know, more than, than if a family like you. Or you can easily approach a stud because you can spot a stud out, you know, anywhere. Excuse me for using labels for those of y'all who don't like labels, but, you know, I'm comfortable with them, so I'm going to use them. But, yeah, anyway. It's easier, you know, for a fam to spot out a stud in the middle of a crowd from what that stud is wearing. For the, nine times out of ten, we're gonna be dressed sort of like, you know, a, a, a dude, you know. And it's easier for the fam to spot a stud out. And you know, when they spot it out, can you just can the girl go up to her and does she flirt and wait on the stud to come at her, or does she just go up there and do her thing, you know, and just get at the stud? I feel that it's cool both ways, you know. I can holler at you the same way you can holler at me, you know, because it really don't matter. Cause, you know, that's that's a, another reason that it puts down the films again, you know. Because y'all, you, you say that uh, you want to be equal and everything like that. And so, you know, I understand. Y'all independent women, you know. You shouldn't let us ha- always have to go out and get y'all, you know. If y'all want if y'all, think about it, though. Instead of having to make us deal with rejection and shit, man, go out and get your own. Just like we can go out and get a film, you can go out and get a stud twice as fast. Please, baby. Because you can spot a stud out faster. Nine times out of ten, the stud is like you. So things will be easier, you know? You ain't even got to worry about that. So, what I'm saying is, you know, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's cool for a film to approach a stud because, that film, you know, she she can do she can do on her own. Cause, there you go. It, I had to wait for the pop in my head. Shot studs, man. I remember when I first, like, when I first started, you know, when I was, like, when I was younger and I was starting to really know about being stud and the films and people out there, you know, I was real shy, you know. You rarely ever catch me talking to a girl. In that sort of way, I was so shy. It's so weird. It would be like, I talked to a girl, but it was But yeah, you know. It, you just never know, you know, whether the stud is supposed to talk to the fam or the fam is supposed to talk to the stud. Like, once again, with the whole thing of shyness, you know. Me, a shy person, you know. And a stud, a stud, if a stud is kind of shy, she don't really know what to say, you know. That's the thing. She don't really know what to say or it's... She might know what to say in her head, but she can't get it out when she say it because she's nervous of rejection. You know, fear of rejection can do that to you. And I remember I used to have a fear of rejection, so, you know, that's a, that's a sort of bad thing, you know. Can't really, like, you know. It's it's a hard thing to overcome, but I finally overcame it, you know, because the worst you can get is no. I know it ain't that bad. It ain't going to kill you, man. She ain't she ain't your soulmate, so it ain't going to kill you, you know. And it's like, I don't know, you just... It's not really up to anybody. Nobody ever wrote down rules and said you have to abide by these rules, you know. Because if they did, I'm sure they would have said that the dude's supposed to go with a female. So you know, obviously there's no rules set out to it, saying whether the film talks to the stud, the stud talks to the film, or you know, however it goes. It doesn't show. It, it's it just really doesn't matter in my eyes. I feel that you can do whatever you want to do. You know, if you're a fam and you see a stud and you want to go talk to her and that stud ain't coming at you, shoot. Who is to say that you can't go do it? Go talk to the fam. And the same thing for the stud. If you see a stud and the fam ain't coming, I mean, a uh, stud see a fam 
and she ain't coming at you, go to her, man. Unless she giving you them signals that say you better back up, you know, because I know Kung Fu, you know. The kind of people you stay away from, but you know, if you kind of see little mixed signals every now and again, go holler at them. Whether you're film or stud, it doesn't matter. It's, it don't really matter who approaches who. It's the fact that y'all got together. That's all that matters. But you know, if y'all feel that the stud should talk to the film or the film talk to the stud, or it doesn't matter, you know, let me know, rate it, comment, subscribe, y'all.